All right, that is it for the pre-recorded demo. Uh, feel free to submit any questions that you may have and William will be more than happy to answer it. Um, while we're waiting, I haven't seen any questions coming yet. So maybe William, uh, you want to you know, share some questions that often come up that you often hear from the audience um, that you'd like to share. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm really happy to do that. Um, one of the questions we get is, do I need to use GitLab for everything end to end? Uh, or can I use parts of GitLab? So for example, GitLab has a really terrific CI CD. Uh, do I have to use the GitLab source code management if I want to get access to the CI CD? And the answer is actually no. GitLab has a whole series of integrations. Uh, we even integrate with GitHub and Bitbucket and uh, we have a, just a generic Git integration. So if you wanted to say store your code on GitHub and use GitLab as your CI CD tool, we have that type of integration. Uh, similarly, GitLab has a terrific issue tracker, project management, epics, uh, but sometimes folks are already uh, really sold out on, on Jira and don't necessarily want to replace that right away. With our Jira integration, you could use Jira as your issue tracker and then say use GitLab as your source code management and your CICD. Uh, or of course, we integrate with tools like Jenkins, some of these other ones around here. So we find folks that uh, like these integrations because it means they don't have to disrupt their entire stack right away. And even if they want to switch on to GitLab for their end-to-end -end experience, which we find that when users do do that, they experience all kinds of uh, additional benefits. So for example, having the state from your issues and your CICD and your source code in one tool that everyone has access to eases troubleshooting and allows teams to collaborate more easily. Uh, but getting there isn't necessarily something that you do overnight. You can take some time to gradually migrate there. So folks will often use our integrations and adopt one part of GitLab first and then gradually replace other tools as they adopt more and more of GitLab end to end and experience more of what that flow looks like to have a single application for the entire DevOps lifecycle. Uh, one of the other questions then that I commonly get is when I'm using GitLab auto DevOps, it automatically generates my pipelines for me, but can I then go, and you saw Dan showing that in the demo, but can I then go and modify and customize those pipelines and expand on them? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, and GitLab does that in one of the coolest ways possible in my opinion. What I'm showing here is a repo that I have in GitLab. And you can see there's no GitLab CI YAML file. In fact, this, this repo has auto DevOps enabled. And the way auto DevOps works is it looks for certain components and if it finds them, it uses them. And if it doesn't find them, then it uses a default. And that default is based on best practices. So what's really nice here is there's no Docker file in this repo. There's no CI YAML file, but auto DevOps just go, goes ahead and does everything for you. However, if you wanted to see what the CI YAML looks like, you can actually create a CI YAML file. And for example, I will even show you what that looks like. For example, if I were to go to add a new file, and I can choose the type of gitlab-ci.yaml, and we have a lot of different templates for this YAML file for the way that you define your pipelines, but I'm gonna use the auto DevOps template. And so what auto DevOps does is if it does not find a YAML file in your repo, it will use this one. And so you can actually apply this one, which I've done in this repo here, and this one has some syntax highlighting. And so you can see exactly what Auto DevOps is doing. And this is a robustly defined, best practices based CI YAML file that shows you exactly what Auto DevOps is doing. It means if you are constructing your CI YAML file from scratch, you can take components of this as best practices, or you can start with this template as we see a lot of folks do, and then expand and modify it and it shows you how it's set up. So you, for a lot of companies and organizations, they'll wanna build a pipeline and it can take even sometimes a couple of weeks to get a pipeline up and going. But with GitLab, 
we think you should just be able to get going with a robust pipeline right away within minutes, as you saw Dan doing with Auto DevOps. But not just stop there. If you want that to fully customize that, you can customize that in this YAML file, which of course is text-based, it's versionable, it allows you to roll forward and roll back to if you adjusted your pipeline and there's a problem with it, you can roll back. It allows you to collaborate and contribute just in a collaborative, uh, collaborative distributed way, the same way you do on your source code, because your pipe, we're, these are pipelines as code. So those are some pretty exciting elements as uh, the features of GitLab. And what I would encourage folks is if these sound like exciting features, the idea of being able to have an end-to-end an, an -end application to uh, manage your DevOps for you, and that allows you to have this collaboration between your teams to break down silos so that you can actually execute faster, so that you can ship in smaller increments and truly become agile, and so that you can adopt modern technologies like Kubernetes and microservices. GitLab is really designed for this. We want to be your strategic partner as you seek to, to change and modernize your organization. And I would encourage any folks that are on the call or perhaps watching this webinar after the fact to reach out to our sales team with the links to learn more about GitLab because we'd like to have a conversation with you to hear about your specific challenges and how we can help you solve those. So with that, Agnes, uh, I believe we have uh, a survey link or uh, just a few things to share with our crew before we take off to ask them for some feedback. Yes, we do. Thank you so much, William, uh, for sharing uh, the, the questions and going through you know, the templates, really helpful. Um, and I hope fi uh, folks find it really helpful as well. So again, like William say, this demo and live Q&A session is something new that we're trying out. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's session. Um, here is a survey link that I'll drop in the chat. Please let us know your thoughts. And we also would like to invite you to sign up for a free trial of GitLab Ultimate. So I'll chat that link as well. And finally, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach us via our sales contact page about.gitlab.com sales. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us.